Hello everybody, welcome back to my couch. You might notice it's not a couch. It's my it's my bed. My couch is in my garage now. Cause I got I got the actual bed. I have my gay representation in the background, so people have some pretty colors to focus on. Have you ever heard of the ship of Theseus? It's, the, the, for anybody who has no idea, basically it's a ship that it gets so old and moldy and yucky that you replace it piece by piece and then eventually all the crew die off and you make a new ship and, wait, all the crew die off and make a new crew and the captain dies and you, make, you replace the captain and then the ship is eventually made of none of the original pieces. So, is that the ship of Theseus? Is that the ship of Theseus? Who has any idea? I don't. I'm just kidding. It could be argued that... Yes, Samantha, it's the same ship. It's been in the same place the entire time. You just replace parts of it, you fucking... But my rebuttal is, um, no, fuck you. If you took all the old pieces and rebuilt the ship and then you put it in the water, that's the ship of Theseus. You couldn't bring back the old crew because they're dead, but you could put their corpses on the, the, the ship. So would that be the ship of Theseus? Yes, yes it would. I'm right, you are wrong. Now this in itself would make about a minute long video. So I'm gonna do like two more logic problems. So many people know about the trolley problem. If you don't know about that, basically the trolley problem is Google it. So for the argument could be made. You should intentionally kill the one person because that would save more people, you dumb fuck. Well, uh, my argument is, uh, no one will know you were there. No one has any idea. Let the four die. And if the one tells, murder his bloodline and steal his dog. Now I had to actually do research for this one, and because that one was so scathingly easy, this one is a little lesser known, and it's called Galileo's Balls. I'm sure that you could understand completely why I picked this just off the title alone. This one is uh, basically more mass will fall faster than less mass and less heavy. But if you tied the more mass to the less mass because there's the less mass, it should fall slower than the heavy singular by itself. And um, that is what Galileo proposed, supposedly. But is that true? No, you dumb eight-brained piece of shit. That's not how mass works.